so you've chosen the one door three, which yeah. is going to sit off the ear. Yes. With a nice. I like it. It is. It's got lots of different covers as well that you can pop on. A few months ago, the hospital got in touch and said it was coming up time for an upgrade after that period of time. And I was given the choice of two audio processors, the Rondo or the Sonnet. And I did quite a lot of reading about them on, online. And I also went to talk to the staff at the hospital so they could answer questions I had about what the differences were between the two devices. It, it was a hard choice really, because I don't think there were the big issues that were pushing me to choose one over the other. But at the end of the day, I've gone for the Rondo. I thought it would be, it would fit in with how I want to live, or how I do live my life. And I think just something that's a bit smaller and compact and sits on the side of my head and allows me to do that sounded just perfect. So we've taken the old map over. We're ready to turn it on now if you're ready. I'm ready. Excellent. There we go. So that's that new processor switched on. Okay. How does that sound for you? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I know it can be quite difficult to tell after such a very short time and in, in this yeah. nice soundproof room. Um, how does it sound as I'm talking to you compared to the, the old one? Does it sound similar to that one? It does sound very similar. I would say it sounded a bit gentler. Okay, good. Is that possible yeah. as a description? Yeah. Do you think it sounds loud enough? Do you think the, the volume seems the same or do you think it sounds a little bit quieter or maybe a little bit louder? I think it's a bit quieter. A bit quieter. Do you want me to try turning everything up a little bit yeah. and see? Yeah, just as an experiment, yeah, see what that's like. Yeah, if we go like. up yeah. and you think, oh okay. no, we can always come back down yeah. again. Okay, so that's another step up. How does that sound? No, it sounds the same, you sound the same. Yeah, everything. Actually, when I put the kettle... Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's play some of these louder noises out of here and okay. see how these are. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Makes you jump that, a bit. Is that a bit too much? Do it again. Yeah. Could you? No, it's all right. Is I it think okay? it just gave me a surprise. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. It might sound slightly different because the microphone's in a different place now because it used to be at the top of my ear and now it's further up. But mm -hmm. so far, I can't detect any difference. Mm -hmm. So when you pop it on, make sure that that's up and it just literally just sits up like that. Okay. Okay, so do you want to have a go yep. at popping that on? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Does that feel comfortable as well? It does, yes. yes. Now that the wires are all off and yes. things and you're not connected <laughs> anymore. Uh. Well, I'm liking it fine so far. It it's just feels the same, you know. You just put something on your head and life goes on. And that's what I want. I just want something simple that does this miracle. So what we need to do now is some listening from the speakers. Possibly. Yeah, you were right. Well done. That was a really quiet one. Well done. We've finished there, Vera. Well done. You know, I've never gotten over how stressful that is. <laughs> it makes it really difficult, doesn't it? <laughs> You've done really well. An audiologist once said to me, it's, worry, it's, it's your ears we're testing, Vera, not, <laughs> yeah, not you. See. But you've done really well. Good. You've picked up all the nice quiet levels as well, so that's really good. Good, okay. good. Um, So you are picking up the quiet sounds really well, and we know now that the louder sounds are not uncomfortable for you. Okay. Okay. Just remember, um, it's going to take a few weeks to get used to it, um, but it should be hopefully a lot better for you and with all that extra connectivity as well. Sure. But if you have any problems, you get back in touch with us and we'll get another appointment for you. It was all very straightforward. I've got to try to understand how to use and, and, and how to charge it and to start experimenting with. So that's obviously something for the days to come. 
I'm just going to go through all the kit yeah. like we always do. Just yeah. explain what everything is, yeah. how you need to look after it and everything. Okay. So the battery is built inside, it's rechargeable. This is your charger. So take it off your head and then there is a button in the middle of it there. You can't see it, but you'll be able to feel it Can when I feel you press. That? Yep. So you'll feel it click. You can feel that? I can hear it. Yeah. 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 So when you take it off your head at night, and then when it's switched off, you just place this upside down on the top of that circle part. Okay. When you wake up, all you do then is take it off the charger, hold the button in again until you see the light flash on the top, yeah. and then it's ready to go back, back wow. on your head. In here, this is your audio link. You can use it as a microphone for somebody to wear. So if you're talking to one person, it's a yeah. bit noisy, let them wear it around the neck. Yeah. It picks up their voice for you. So is that the thing that I also use to stream on a Zoom call from my iPad? Yeah, so you can do it with the iPad. So you can do the Bluetooth. same thing, link it with Bluetooth, the similar way to doing it with your, yeah. with your phone, basically. It feels different not having anything behind the ear. I know it didn't make any difference to Vera, but I, I think it looks good. You know, I, I, I like that. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Thank you.